Hello guys, welcome to Have It Oma, it's your girl Oma. In today's video, we are going to be doing a simple no makeup makeup look, okay? And for this look, I'm not going to be doing a lot. I have a few errands to run, but I do not want to go with my bare face the way I'm looking right now. I want to put the most minimal effort to still look natural, but gang gang. I don't know if what I said makes sense to you, but yeah. So that is what we are going to be doing today. So if that is what you'll be interested in, Definitely keep watching. My face is clean, but it's a little dry now. Um, let me just moisturize it a little bit before I start. But if you're just straight out of shower, you just done your finish doing your skin care and your face is still moisturized, you don't need to, you know, get it moist again before starting. I will not be using um, a foundation for this look. I will just be going straight into my powder after moistening my face. Now, if you're someone that loves foundation and cannot do without it, you like heavy coverage or, you know, deep coverage, you can go ahead and use your foundation first. Usually, I don't do that when I'm doing this type of look, okay? I just go ahead and start with my powder. So I just lightly, you know, dab it in my beauty blender and apply like so. You guys, it's, it's beginning to threaten another batch of rain. As in, the weather is not, it's not giving us a break at all right now. We've had like three batches already, but I'm looking at it now, it's drizzling again. I'm sorry about how this um, dull weather is affecting the lighting on this video i'm really sorry you guys i decided to do half of my face first <laughs> to show you what it looks like this is not blended so don't you know and then i go with a brush and just generously blend it out to make sure that i do not have any hash any hash line and i also do not forget my neck and my ear Now look at the difference you see how this looks you see how this looks <laughs> okay the difference is clear my even my eyes look like here is lifted while here you can see under eye you can look natural without putting a lot of effort that's what i'm trying to see so you can see that this powder alone has done this place looks lifted snatched this place looks ah we just woke up and we are tired so let me go ahead and do the other side of the face what is happening on the streets of internet these days is just people having conversations about men because we just had fathers um they is it up to a week roughly almost a week ago there is a lot of conversation going on about men that abandoned their kids when they were younger or that insisted that you know the women or their wives should not have that child when they were pregnant and then these men now finally came to their senses some years later and came back to the life of these children and want to be accorded as a father be respected as a father and enjoy the benefits of being a father Stories I've seen online mostly revolve around this. And then there are people that are not happy with the women that want to be celebrated on Father's Day. So the energy is matching right now. Can you see? I reviewed these products a week over a week ago. I'll put the link to that video in the description. Um, these products, I bought it in Nigeria. This one is 2500 It's very, very affordable. I don't know where you are right now in case you want to buy it. The only problem you might have is actually shipping. But the product is really, really good. You guys, only powder, no foundation. And look at the coverage I'm getting. I showed you guys when I did only one part of my face, just so you can see how good the product is. I am not working with them. This is not sponsored. I'm sorry I'm looking at myself. This is because 
the screen is also my mirror. So <laughs> forgive me. The rain have come back. So now that I am done with the powder, like I said, if you don't want to use powder, you do not have to. I will go ahead and brush my eyebrow. I will not lie, most times I leave my eyebrow like this. I don't touch it at all. Okay? I don't... Sometimes I do, but most times I go ahead and leave it like this. My eyebrows are very sparse. I don't have a lot of brows. I'm not working with a lot. But some days I feel the need to use um, my edge control to make it a little more defined. Some days I fill it out with eye pencil, but I don't properly draw on the eye pencil. I hope what I'm saying makes sense. So if you're someone like me that has eyebrow, like you can see that I actually do have eyebrow. But it is not a lot because you are going for a makeup no makeup look you can decide to just properly brush your eyebrow and leave it alone you can decide to use um eyebrow gel edge control to define it and leave it alone or you can decide to use your pencil and just fill it in now filling it in is not drawing it those are two different things if i want to draw my eyebrow i will go ahead and draw it you know before filling it in but i'm not drawing it i'm not drawing it i'm just quietly filling it in just so that the eyebrow will look a bit more visible you know so that it will not be lost on my face again if you're someone that has eyebrow already you have full eyebrow already you don't even have to bother with this just brush it out and you're good to go okay so look at this look at this over here look at this and now because I want it to be as natural as possible, I'm going to brush this out. I did not draw it in, I just filled it in. And that alone is even bringing out the eyebrow very well. And I'll go ahead and do the second one. So what I was talking about, mothers that want to be celebrated on Father's Day, and fathers that abandoned their kids and then came back when the kids are a lot older, I want to become fathers and take responsibilities or enjoy the benefits of being a father even though they never really took the responsibilities if that makes any sense there are a few funny cases that <laughs> i don't know if we can talk about in this video because this is actually a very quick video but mm -hmm. in the case of these twins i don't know if you know them i'm going to find a picture of them and put on the screen they are twins. They were raised by their mother, only their mother. Their father clearly told the woman to go and, when she was pregnant, to go and remove the kids. So she had them and she raised them all on her own. Now they are kind. They are celebrities. They are big on social media. I don't know if you know them. I'll put their picture here. They are actually big on uh, social media right now. They, their brand is doing wonderfully well. They are into catering. They have um, hair, hair line, um, skincare line. They are doing a lot of business and they are doing skits and uh, kind of family family prank, kind of. They are doing well now. Their mother is enjoying the, the reward of her, her labor. Now, the man that is supposed to be their father wants to now come, come in and repair his diagnosis, but the kids, they don't care for him at all. And on Father's Day, they took social media to celebrate their mother as their father. And trust social media people, a lot of people were angry. She cannot be your father. She's not your father. She's not your father. She cannot. I remember that I made a video one time when Tonto DK posted herself on Father's Day. And I was not in support of that. Even though I am okay with everybody doing what makes them happy, I know that for sure she cannot be a father and a mother. But it's different when it is your children that chose to celebrate you. For me, I think it's a different situation for me to come out and celebrate myself as a father when my kids are small. But it's a different thing when these kids have grown up and seen that. This I'm not talking about myself, obviously. I'm not a single parent. My husband is very much involved in his children's life. But I'm saying, for instance, let's assume that my kids have grown up and they see that I did this parenting thing alone and they saw all my struggles and all of that and they choose on their own on Father's Day to celebrate me. I think it is a different thing. This is just my opinion. Of course, you can share yours in the comment section.
so this is the next thing i do lashes i love doing my lashes okay you guys because i don't fix it often i have to define it in some way and you see that this eye is a lot more alive and a lot more vibrant now when you compare it with the other one that does not have mascara on so i'll go ahead and do the other side of my face as well so now both eyes are both eyes are doing well abby to further make my eye pop my eyes are very important to me you guys i have really really wonderful eyes one of the things i love about my entire body one of them is my eyes and the another one are my legs so when i wear makeup or even if i'm not wearing makeup i like to bring attention to my eyes i like people to see how big and cute they are so um i just take a little bit of highlight and i just put it here you can miss this step if you do not want attention to your eyes this is what I do for myself. If you do not want attention to your eyes, go ahead and miss it. That's completely fine. As you are seeing me like this, I am done with the makeup. Absolutely done with the makeup. The only next thing I do is to line my lips. Sometimes I do wear lip gloss that have color, maybe pink, red, just lip gloss. But today I am not feeling like a lip gloss kind of person. I'm feeling like lip balm. It's still moistening the lips without the heavy glossy effect. And then I go ahead and line the lips. The only thing I owe myself now is to try to do something with these edge, edges. With these are edges. <laughs> you guys, are you following me on TikTok? If no, please. Go and follow me on TikTok. I am there every day doing the Lord's work. I do share some of my TikTok as YouTube shorts. But yeah, not all of them. Not not all of them, okay, because of um copyright. But if you're on TikTok and we are not following each other yet, please find me on TikTok and follow me, okay? This side of my edges have less hair than the other side. So. <laughs> this thing is not working for me. That was how the person that did it on TikTok did it to my own now. It's not working out so. I told you guys I don't know how to do baby hair shape. Anyway, this will have to do. Baby hair is not my thing, so this will have to do. I don't know the spirit that is telling me to put a little bit of color on my lips. I think I'm going to listen. Let me put lip gloss on. Yeah. And we are done. So for this look, you need your powder, your mascara, your lip gloss or lip balm and your eye pencil. And that is it. And that is it. What did I call? Powder, mascara, lip gloss or lip balm and eye pencil. And you are good to go. Tell me what you think about this look. And then to so what we were talking about before I even deviated with all this my story. What do you guys think? Did the twins do bad by celebrating their mother on Father's Day? Is it wrong of them to do that? And what do you think about these men that after denying their kids, they come back 10, 15, 20, 30 years later when they are old and actually do need assistance. They come back and start looking for their children what do you think about that situation share your thoughts and your opinion with me in the comment section in future i intend to make a video to actually properly 
talk about these situations and tell you guys my opinion about them, okay? And for now, tell me what you think about my makeup and share if you are going to try to recreate this look in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. If you haven't by now, please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't by now, please subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to share this video if you can. I would absolutely appreciate it. I will see you in my next one. Bye. I need you to stay. I need you to stay